Okay, if I'm asking you, if you have your calculator, right, and you would like to find the value of E, what is the value of E in your calculator? Two point seven one watt. I have my own calculator. I can press eight. Eight. Two. Two. Eight. 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 eight one. Eight one. If you have Excel, you may have more decimal places here, right? OK. How your calculator calculating this one? How the calculator find E 2.718281 root square of 2. What's root square of 2 in your calculator? Guys, one point. point Four one four, 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 four two, 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 one, three, five, three, five. OK, what sign? By over six. What is sign by over six? One over two. One over two. So your calculator is working depending on a formula. And to make a program or to make programming for anything, you should have a mathematical formula. So your calculator finding this one up to what? Up to the mathematical. Formula This is a mathematical formula. Any function f of x will equal to sum f n derivative at zero factorial n x to the power n from n equal to zero to infinity. You call this one what? We call it Maclaurin series. Maclaurin. series. So to find Maclaurin series, your f of x should have a derivative at zero, right? So this is exactly like d n by dx n, the nth derivative for f of x when you substitute x equal to zero, right? So this one must be defined, should be defined must be defined value. So your function must be differentiable and this derivative must be defined at x equal to zero to talk about what Maclaurin series. There are th this is a special case of what? Of this one. If I don't like to have f of x, I would like to have f of x at zero. This is at x equal to zero. So I'm, I'm looking for this series about x equal to zero. If I would like to have it as x equal to c, so f of x minus c will equal to sum from n equal to zero to infinity for, yes, the n derivative at c at this time, factorial n x minus c to the power n. This is, I call it what? I call it Taylor series. This is Taylor series. So Maclaurin series is a special case from Taylor series. What is this big sum? Let's go with the Maclaurin series. For f of x. Yes, this is the formula of the Maclaurin series. f of x is equal to 
sum from n equal to 0 to infinity for the n derivative of the function at 0, sorry, at 0 over factorial n time it by x to the power n. This big sum can be written as a small sums, right? So if you put n equal to 0, it means your first one. So n equal to 0, as I said, fn of x is exactly the n derivative for my function. So zero derivative, it means your original function, f of zero plus n1, it means the first derivative at zero over factorial one plus, yes, I forget to write what? x to the power what? x to the power one. Here, x to the power zero, I know x to the power zero is one plus f double dash of zero factorial two x to the power two plus f treble dash treble prime over factorial x to the power three etc so i can end up with the general term this is the general term because it is infinite series, because I am I'm counting up to infinite series, so I cannot stop at specific term, right? So this is the big sum. You can write it as a small sum. Let's answer our question, how your calculator calculating this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just asking myself, prove that E is equal to point one seven one roughly is this one. How to prove this one? I'm just plugging everything here. So I have to choose the function to get this one E. What is the best function to find E? The exponential function, E to the X. So I let f of x equal to e to the x, right? So what I need, I need to have f at 0 because this is the first term. When you put e to the 0, give you 1, right? OK, and what about f dash? f dash of x equal to what? Also e to the x. So f dash at zero will be what? Also e to the zero, which is one. Also f double dash is the same because the exponential function keep give you the same exponential function e to the x. Okay, fine. So all of these ones, so instead of f of x, I can write what? e to the x f of 0, I have it here. It is 1. So I substitute it by 1. f dash is also 1. f double dash is also 1. And all of these 1 are 1. So, yes, I can say e to the x is equal to what? Yes, e to the x is equal to 1 plus x over factorial 1 plus x squared over factorial 2 plus x to the power 3 over factorial 3 plus etc. 2 to the x to the power n over factorial n plus etc. Now, this is infinite series, right? And it is called power series. Why it is power series? Because I have x, x squared, x cubed. This is why they call it power series. Okay? Now, I'm looking for E, only E. How I can get E? I just put X equal to one. So E to the one is E equal to what? Let's substitute by one. So you have one plus one over factorial one 
plus 2 over factorial 2 plus 3 over factorial. Yeah, now I'm wrong. I'm just substituting x by 1. Okay, so be very careful on your substituting. Yes, x is just 1. Okay, so I have 1 over factorial 2 plus 1 over factorial 3 plus 1 over factorial 4 until I reach 1 over factorial n. Okay, now what's factorial 1? It's 1. If you have your calculator, you have the factorial key, so you can get this one. What is the factorial in general? Factorial n is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3, etc. And you keep subtracting 1 and multiply until you reach 2 times 1. For example, the factorial of 3 is what? 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. Factorial 2 is just 2 times 1, which is 2. Factorial 4 is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. Factorial 5 is, uh, sorry, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it will be 120. And instead of doing so, I know factorial 3 is what? A 3 times factorial 2. Factorial 4 is 4 times factorial 3. So no need to do it again. You just multiply by the next number. This is 5 times factorial 4. In general, factorial n is equal to n times n minus 1 factor. Right? OK. Now, I know this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 24, and then 1 over 20, etc. Can you add 1 plus 1 is equal to what? 1 plus 1 plus half plus third plus 1 over 24 plus 1 over 120. If you stop at this one, what do you have? Guys, what do you have? One plus one, two plus half, two point five. So you have two point what? You have third. Third is zero point three three. Okay, so it will be two eight something, right? Uh, two point, roughly, yeah. 2.8332. So it is very close to 2.71, right? Okay. We we have done a mistake here. Factorial 3 is not 3. It is what? 6, right? So this is 1 over 6, not 1 over 3. So you will have now the right, the correct value is what? 2.71. Easy? Yes, easy. Let's go for the MATLAB and check how you compare both between the value when you stop at a specific term. We stop at which term now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we stop at n equal to 6, right? If we stop to more than this one, we will have very close to the accurate value, right? If you have MATLAB, you can have the function, the interactive window called Taylor tool. I'll put you this one in your chat and you can copy it to your MATLAB. Okay. And work it out with me, right? Now, if you have Taylor tool and press enter, you will have this interactive. I would like to have the function exponential function. How to write the exponential function in, a, in MATLAB? EXP, open bracket for X. Now, if you have only one term, the accurate value is a blue one. The approximate value up to the MATLAB series is the red one. 
Okay, now I'll get two, three, four. What do you notice? When you exceed the number of terms, look at this one. This is an expansion. This is Taylor expansion or Taylor series, uh, sorry, Maclaurin series. Okay, for different N. N is five, give you this one. This is the one we stopped at. You just substitute by X equal to one, you get E. If I'm asking you about root square E, so you put X equal to half because root square is, to, is equivalent to the power half. So you can write to get root square E, you can put X equal to half. If you exceed this one to six, seven, eight, nine, look at this. Yes, if you would like to expand also the domain, okay, you can expand the domain to, okay, so you have more, more space. So you need to ex exceed the number of terms. Once you exceed the number of terms, you are going to be very close to the accurate value for the exponential function. Gotcha? Easy? Now. OK, just a minute, please. OK. This is a series. If I'm asking you to find sample two, find the approximate value of root square E. So to solve this one, you have to know you are going to use using Maclaurin series. So to have to use a Maclaurin series, I don't mind to write the formula for Maclaurin series. Maclaurin series formula for any function f of x is exactly the sum from n equal to zero to infinity for the n derivative of my function at x equal to zero over factorial n and you have the power n of h. This big, big sum is exactly like what? Like the small sum. So when you put n equal to zero, you have your function at x equal to zero plus n equal to one, you have first derivative at zero, factorial one, plus second derivative at zero, factorial two, plus triple prime or third derivative at factorial three plus fourth derivative at zero factorial four plus okay fifth derivative at zero okay And you can have this one to the infinity. So this is your function will be like this. So what is the right function to use? Let f of x equal to what? Yes, the best one for this one is e to the x. OK, now I need to know f at 0 is equal e to the 0, which is 1. Also, f dash of x is also it is a x so i don't like to have f of x f dash of x i would like to have f dash at x equal to what zero so it will be e to the zero h one also if i am carry on the derivative of e to the x is the same as e to the x so any derivative at x equal to 0 for e to the x will be equal to 1 also. 
OK. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just taking this value and go to my Maclaurin series to substitute. So my function is e to the x equal to what? F at zero is equal to what? One. OK, so this is one. Plus F dash, what is F dash? Also one. So plus one over factorial one X plus. Also all the derivative is one, so I have one over factorial two X squared plus one over factorial three X cubed plus one over factorial four X to the power four plus one over factorial five X to the power five. 1 over factorial 6, x to the power 6, plus, if you can carry on, that's fine, okay? If you can, would like to stop. If you stop and say e to the x equal to what? I will have to stop up to here, so I cannot write equal. I have to write roughly or approximate value for 1 plus 1 over factorial, because I delete some terms, so it will not be equal. It will be approximate value. You can stop until you reach the, your approximate value you are looking for, right? OK, now. To have. Root square. Of E. Which is equal to what? Equal to E and I know the root is exactly the power half. So if I compare this one with E to the X, so X will equal to what? Half. So what? x equal to half or 0 0.5 if you like in i call this one star let's substitute together so what i have root square e will equal to one plus one over factorial one Factorial 1 is what? 1. Factorial 2 is 2. Factorial 3 is 6. Factorial 4 is 24. Factorial 5 is 120. Factorial 6 is 720. <coughs> OK. So I have 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2. And remember, x is half. So I have to put x is half. So instead of x, I have to write half plus 1 over 2, and I have x squared, x is half, so I have 0 0.5 squared plus 1 over 6, which is a factorial 3, and x is half, so I have half to the power 3 plus 1 over factorial 4, which is what? 24, and I have x is half to the power 4 plus 1 over 120 x is half square i stopped at this one the last one can you calculate this one for me please so 4 this is 5 so this is 6 so this roughly will equal to what Hello. What is the value of this one? Can you add one plus half plus half times five half square? One over six half cube over six half to the power four to the twenty four using your calculator, please.
1.64. Okay, so it's 1.64. This is how your calculator is working. 1.4.5. One, 1.4.5. 1.4.5. Yes. 1.4.5. Yeah. Okay. If you add more, okay, you will be very close to the approximate value. If you can add some more terms, it will be better value than this one. Okay. Now I finish my turn. This is your turn.